everybody. I'm Zach. Welcome to another episode of Coker Culture. Today is Wednesday, June the 12th, and it just so happens to be my birthday. So uh, celebrating 39 years now on this earth and around the globe. Um, this is actually the first time in the last three years that not only have I been home for my birthday, but that I've been in the United States for my birthday. Uh, last year, I was on the Ireland and England trip. Um, and then the year before that, I was on the trip to uh, Spain, Southern France, and Italy. And I've got videos from both of those trips on the channel. There's playlists for both of them. If either one of those sounds interesting to you, you can check those out from the last two summers. So, how am I spending my birthday this year? Well, uh, it actually started last night. Went out to dinner with some friends at one of our favorite local restaurants, that being Henry's Louisiana Grill. Uh, which is in Ackworth, and I've documented Henry's restaurant on the channel before. It was fantastic. Stuffed our bellies, got some beads, had some laughs. That was great. Uh, and so today for my actual birthday, I had a few different ideas going into it of what I wanted to do. Um, when I woke up this morning, I wasn't feeling too great, so that canceled a few of them. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm here at our local AMC here in Hiram, uh, it came to my attention that I have only been to the movies one time in 2024 thus far, which is shocking. Uh, and there's several things out that I wanted to see right now. And I thought I leaned heavily into doing a horror movie because nobody likes horror but me and the family uh, as far as scary movies go. But I'm here to see bad boys. Are you kidding me? I still quote the original and the most recent bad boys, very excited for this. In the theater, waiting before it starts. Got myself large popcorn and large drink, which I got uh, for free because they have birthday rewards for Stubbs members. So large drink, large popcorn, normally $17.50 if you didn't get it as a combo, which is how this was rung up. Um, got it for free and then I had a five dollar reward um, that I could use with my account and because this is a matinee showing it was already 25% off so my ticket was only five bucks <laughs> so large popcorn large drink and the movie for just five dollars so I'm ready to laugh also before it gets started um, and I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions after the fact Shout out to Sky and Brooklyn for coming over and hanging out and playing with the boys last second so I could enjoy this day out to myself. So I've already told them, but everything thus far has just been various shades of purple and green. So something's off with the color on the projector. So hopefully they can get it fixed. Fast forward a few hours, and the movie was great. Tons of action, laughs galore throughout. Will Smith, Martin Lawrence make a fantastic team as they have throughout the Bad Boys series of movies. Um, I don't feel like this one is going to be as quotable as the previous Bad Boys movies, but still good nonetheless. Um, the folks that they added to it, perfect. I mean, it was a great, great, great movie. Thrilled that I had the opportunity to go out and see that um, and uh, to do that on my birthday. And um, then came home, uh, sat with the boys a little while longer, brought Ty to church. He's had church camp all week in the evenings. That's where I currently am waiting to pick him up uh, for it to finish. And then Jess and I got to watch uh, some YouTube as well while this was going on. And then we'll probably just head back and kind of have an easy rest of the night once this is over. Uh, but really solid birthday and really glad to be back at home and in the country on this one. 
It has been a while, folks. A little over a month, I think, but he's finally back on the green. We're here at golf practice. This is his first time since the surgery, so we will see how he does. We'll see how tired he gets. Hopefully, not so much. Hopefully, he'll do great. It's really hot out there, though. A few days later, folks. Hi. And it is Saturday, June the 15th. And Ty, what are we doing? Eating at Steakhouse. We're eating at a Brazilian steakhouse. Why? This is my birthday, pretty much. Yeah, we're celebrating Ty's birthday. And he has been wanting to eat at a Brazilian steakhouse for at least six months if not a little longer. Um, ever since Jess and I went to Pasador uh, with our friends and we filmed that and there's a video of that on the channel and Ty found out about that, he wanted to do this. So we said, for your birthday, we will go to a Brazilian steakhouse. So that is what we're doing. And here we go. The sign is blocked so you can't see it, but we are at Fogo de Show here in the Dunwoody area the perimeter area and we're seated i'm sitting here by the birthday boy that we're celebrating <laughs> and we've got our little cards over here on red right now as we wait to get our drinks and then we'll get started they do have an all-day happy hour today don't know if that's an every saturday thing but it is just now but i don't think anybody's going to be partaking of that I'll show you guys what it is that we eat because Chad, as y'all know, is not really a meat eater. So he may just be eating off the market table buffet over there. And as you can tell, it is packed in here. We had reservations. We still had to wait a little bit. I think it's because it's Father's Day weekend. This is after our first trip to the market table. Ty got a lot of meats here, a couple different types of salami and mortadella, a couple different types of cheese, watermelon, some bread and rice, as well as a piece of candied bacon. I got mostly fruit. Yep, Chad got a whole lot of fruit. I see papaya, kiwi. Candy, candy bacon, I got some cheese. Oranges, pineapple. Prosciutto. Then we got some bread for the table that they've already eaten at. You've got some fried plantains, some polenta, and some mashed potatoes. And then voila, I got a little bit of Caesar salad, a little bit of a spring mix with ranch. Uh, this is a Brazilian potato salad, a citrus chicken salad, and some Brazilian street corn. And then I also got some white rice with like a spicy pepper sauce. So of course this is before any of the meat show. So the first meat has come off, so we've got like a lamb shank and then a little bit of pork belly with honey drizzled on it. So I got it too. Jess hasn't got any. Chad hasn't got, Chad's just getting chicken. So but we gotta I wait for the chicken. Got, if it's honey, why were the bears in the basketball? Ty is very pleased. I think he's still eating the pork belly right now. But he also got some sausage. Yep, got some sausage. We just got the house special meat there. And yeah, here I am over here. No meat on my plate yet. Me yeah. <laughs> yep, mom doesn't have any. I, I need some filet. Yeah, we uppity. Yeah. Bougie. Yep. Yeah. Chad is very pleased. He says the tomato soup is very I good. I like me a good tomato soup. Yeah. And he's had some meat. He had a bite or two of Ty's lamb shank. And he said it was tolerable. Ty's eating the sausage now. He's got so okay. sausage is okay. He's got sausage, he's got the really pink in there is the house special, and then I cut off his lamb shank too. And then you can see the damage he's done to the market table as well. A lot of watermelon pieces. We finally got some filet, and so he is in heaven. Instead of S tier, it's G tier from God tier. God tier, yep, so he got some filet mignon, super tender, got some top sirloin. Chad finally got it's some juicy. chicken over there. Juicy. Some, some bacon covered chicken and then I think a chicken thigh. And then Jess got some filet and some top sirloin. And, and some chicken. chicken. 
and then I've got the top sirloin, the filet, and then I got chicken and filet wrapped in bacon too. Good, good, good. And we've got more watermelon. Still got a lot of meat. This is my night. I smell it's already blown. Yeah, Chad is he's eating a lot, honestly. Jess is eating quite a bit. She's getting herself some more of the candied bacon. And I'm still working my way through some of this too. This is some lamb, some garlic steak, and then some of the top sirloin. Oh. How much watermelon have you had? Probably, like that's huh? no exaggeration there. He has gotten his money's worth in watermelon. What? Not to mention steak. He ate quite a bit of meat, but lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of watermelon. Hey. And this guy and his pineapple. He's been eating pineapple and kiwi. He's had a couple pieces of uh, chicken. chicken. And then mom has had quite a bit of stuff too. She didn't touch her chicken though. Chicken. It sat there for quite a while. It's a sad piece of chicken. It's probably cold now. I went back to the salad market. Yep, went back to the market table and uh, I'm looking empty. And I'm feeling anything but empty, that's for sure. I think the best thing I had though was the filet. Yeah. Only had, we only had one the piece of. Was good too. Yeah, top sirloin was real good. I just finished my 16 watermelon. 16th <laughs> piece. So 16 pieces of watermelon. And I think he's finally throwing in the towel. Did everybody get enough to eat? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah we all have our full, my that's for sure. My stomach is blown multiple times. So now we are on the long road home. We got the Braves on the radio. They've got an afternoon game here at 4 o'clock. And it's hot. It's very hot. So we are going to go grab a cool dessert on the way home and we'll catch up with you there. I apologize for the noise, but as we finished up dinner, Jess was saying how she could use something sweet. And so we are out actually near our house, um, or at least back in our area. We're near where the Philly steak spot is. And we are here to get some Ohana ice, which was just bought by one of my former students and swimmers. So we are here supporting local yeah much much quieter over here and we're gonna get some dessert here oh, all the various it. flavors take a screenshot or a picture if you want to see them okay we got our saved ice we're over here by the generator so it is loud but sad got peach and zombie antibacteria zombie antivirus a special flavor i got what did you get again? Pina colada and uh, blue, raspberry. blue raspberry. Jess got yeah, strawberry well, and pina colada. Together it's sort of very sour. And then I got just Hawaiian. And they are very, very good. They've got two sizes. We all got larges. And the large, and these are $5. And then the smalls are three dollars, and so I would definitely say that the uh, larges are the better deal. Again, brand new ownership of this business of Ohana Ice. Um, I will link their social, which is on Facebook, down below. Again, locally owned and operated by one of my former swimmers and students. So we will definitely be. Um, you know, giving our patronage and our money towards her and this awesome new business venture. So what do you do on a full stomach and 94 degree weather? Well, obviously you blow up this giant inflatable sea monster. We're gonna have Nessie here in the backyard. This is an uh, inflatable that my parents got Ty for his birthday. Again, Ty's birthday is coming up here in a couple days. Um, so he and Chad both were really excited about this. So we're getting it all blown up and we'll hook the hose up to it and we'll let them have some fun before the sun goes down. Also finally picked up Chad's grill. Thank you again to Kelly and Joshua 
for giving him his first little charcoal Weber grill. He cannot look forward enough to starting to use this baby. All right, she's all set up. We've got the crazies out here and the dogs too. Giant blue sea monster. How am I supposed to jump through this? I just said we're going to call it Sisu. Because, again, giant blue monster. Dragon. Whatever. Beans be go. Perfect for a hot summer day. Apparently, the boys can't be the only ones to have all the fun. Yeah. As now, Dansby is soaking wet. In I've the pool here that we got for them, the and drinking the water while he's in there. Meanwhile, the older one, he won't go anywhere near it. He doesn't like having a bath. This one loves every second of it. Well, that's going to do it for these last couple days. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us. Happy Father's Day, because I'm planning to release this video on Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day to all our fathers and grandfathers out there. Hope you enjoy your day and get some rest and have some fun. Uh, we had a blast. We're all stuffed. We are going to do something special on Ty's birthday here in a couple days. So I'll be filming that when we go about that. Um, but until next time, guys, make sure that you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, things that we can be praying for or sending you good vibes, Leave those down below, and if you're not subscribed, there's something here for everybody. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help out our little channel continue to grow. Until next time, what's your why?